representing Ordnance Survey here. I'm a, a project manager, so uh, that's that's why I'm interested in this agile governance um, SIG, and um, we work very much with uh, the agile development teams that we've got embedded here. Group A. Okay, so we looked at the um, the lead link and had some questions relating to the role of the lead link, and inevitably it was some of them were how they interacted with the uh, the rep link as well. But um, I suppose the first one um, was does having those specific roles create uh, potential for single points of failure? Okay, so um, I think by that you're referring to, I just want to correct your little diagram if okay. I may. So what you've actually got here is the general uh, larger circle and this would be a smaller circle inside it. So I'm going to just redraw that larger circle around here. And you'd probably have more of these smaller circles inside. So your, um, your governance is held by the whole circle. So within this larger circle, the governance is held by that whole circle. And within this circle, the governance is held by that whole circle. So whilst your, your lead link and your rep link's role is not to govern that circle, the lead link's role is to represent this large circle inside this smaller circle. And the rep link's role is to represent this small circle inside this larger circle in those meetings. But the meetings that they hold themselves, especially the governance meetings, will actually, re uh, will actually decide how that governance is done.